or something. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an executive recruiter. So uh, okay. companies hire my firm and me to find a CEO or a head of sales or marketing or CFO, those kinds of roles. Nice. It's always interesting to me to hear, you know, how these master's athletes, you guys are so talented and have, you know, all this fitness, but you sort of are able to manage life <laughs> in, in addition to your training. How do you sort of find that balance? Well, um, luckily my job is number one can be quite virtual. That's why we moved to South Carolina six years ago from New York. Um, so I can be virtual and it's pretty flexible. So, you know, if I shut down from five to eight to be at the gym and then I go back online at eight, uh, you know, it, it works pretty well. Oh, that's great. And where do you train typically? Uh, CrossFit Humidity here in, in Beaufort. <laughs> that's a we, great we named it Humidity because uh, misery was taken. So, uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it. No, so, no. Dave, what age group are you in? Uh, I will be 65 in January. So right now I'm in the 60, 64 age group. Okay. And then for the open season, the CrossFit season next year, will you be 65. in the 65 plus? 65 nice. plus. Nice. Yeah. So the that's old. sort of, yeah. Explain to folks that don't quite understand um, the benefit of that uh, as you, as we get into these older age groups being the yeah. youngest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, a year makes a difference when you, when you get old like us. So uh, like me, so um the, the age groups are every five years, 55, 59, 60, 64. It used to be 60 plus. Now they've added a 65 plus category. So when, when I went to the games, it was in the 60 plus. Now it's going to be in 60. Now the next division is 65 plus, And it is magic being the young guy in the old divisions. Because once you've been there a few years, unless you're a, you know, a Dave Hippensteel or a Will Powell or somebody like that, it's hard to make it after you the first year or two. 